there's three kids following me and one's got a machete about two meters long Good morning from Renzori Turaco campsite. Um, this is where I stayed last night and check that out. Lovely sunrise there, nice little campsite. I think there's a few more people staying in some tents over there, but that's my own tent there. I brought that with me from England. Nice little tent. Just have a look around where we are. So I came here last night or yesterday afternoon and these are the Renzori Mountains over here. The Mubuku River runs parallel to this campsite. There's a little road here. That's the main entrance over there. And then there's some more guest rooms over there. 7.30 in the morning. Somebody's having a fire up there. There's different walks. There's walks for one day, two days, three days, seven days. But anyway, this is my tent. One tigress. It's got a window here. I've actually got a stove that can go inside here. And then this is the mosquito net that hangs up inside it. And there's my sleeping bag. And under my sleeping bag, you'll see I've got a mattress and a pillow. So it's pretty comfortable. And this all packs up very tight, very compact. And I get it in my bag. Anyway, I'm going to go and see if I can get some coffee. So this is breakfast, cup of coffee, egg, cucumber, tomato, coriander sandwich, and a passion fruit. Peanut brittle, something you shouldn't go camping without. Great for breakfast with a coffee as well. I'm about to chop open this passion fruit. Check this out. That's inside the passion fruit. And we'll just scoop it out with a spoon. It's like e eating an oyster or something. Ah, great for breakfast, very refreshing. So I've decided to keep my tent pitched here because it's the last pit stop before going into the park. It's very nice here and there's some very nice walks around here. So there's a bridge going across the river here. This is where we're staying. Renzori Turaco View Camp. But I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to walk up here. There's a little trek going up the mountain a little bit. And I think I'll do that one first before it gets too hot. And then maybe later when it gets a bit cooler, we can go down by the river down there. So we'll see how it goes. I got some little friends. This is his house and he's just showing me his coffee plant. Coffee beans. What else are you growing? Bananas. Oh, there's another coffee plant here. And he's been collecting sand from the river down here. Very nice. Do you drink it? No. You're just selling. Yeah. Coffee from Uganda. Hello. Oh, he's crying. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. So they got coffee just growing at the side of the road here. So is this wild? No, it's not wild. Somebody has planted this. No, it's Arabica. Coffee. Ah, Arabica. Arabica. Okay. So have you tried drinking it? Do, yeah. do you drink coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. It's very, 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 very good. And this one is, um, it only grows on the highlands. The uh, western part and the eastern part. It has to country. have its own ecosystem, the coffee, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Grows yeah, at well, certain well, altitudes. Well, well drained soils. Yeah. Then uh, rainfall must be sufficient. Now I have matokes, plantain, yeah, banana, yeah, yeah. and some coffee. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How far do you intend to go? Because uh, well, I'm coming back today. Uh, alone? You're going alone? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Will you find the way? You go, but then when you reach up there, it's not, it's not, not so, so easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why I asked how far you intend yeah. to go. Maybe see you later. Okay, please. I'm right. here. So I'm just going to go and check down this little path. Just going to go down by the river and see if there's any spots for swimming. Can we go swimming down here? So there's a few little paths we can just walk along but yeah it's going quite fast this water and there's a little bridge on the other side over there might come back down this one later when it gets a bit cooler it looks like a little chameleon
water sounds quite fast through here there's a little path going through but it's quite high up lots of firewood stacked up here i think we're almost at the gate now So I've just started to approach the gate, but it's starting to get quite windy and cloudy. There's a storm coming pretty high up, clouds just rolling by. Anyway, I'm going to go and ask how much it costs to go inside. So it turns out it's $65 to go inside for one day. If it's two days, it's $130 and so on. But anyway, I'm going to go down across that bridge and go across the other side of the river and see how far up upstream. I can get a longer path if there is a path on the other side. So there's a little path here and these kids have carried all this cassava. Did you carry this? You no, carry no. It? These kids are collecting, is that cassava? Cassava, yeah. So I'm gonna go and have a look at this path, see how far we can get. These kids can do it, I can do it. That water looks very clean there. quite a few kids coming up and down carrying sacks of cassava, matoki, the local bananas. Oh, there's people farming up here. That's to put on the head to balance on the top. But we're going into the forest over here, getting very thick. Pretty thick, pretty cloudy, very muddy also. So it's starting to get pretty humid because we're going higher. We keep going through different zones and different climates. Very damp and very slippy on the floor. So we just walked through someone's back garden, but we're starting to get some pretty incredible views now. You can see the river back over there. I can see a village and the clouds. But again, we're coming to someone else's house up here. Very tricky now and very slippy. But check out these views. Check out that now. I can just see the river down there, see how far we can go up here. And these are the typical houses out here. Got all the firewood, mud walls, very basic. Someone's peeping at me in the kitchen down there. Got kids following me. <laughs> <laughs> Ideal climate for these coffee beans, kind of moist, cool, and it's just growing everywhere. Coffee, bananas, really in the rainforest here. Yeah. 
So there's actually a stream on both sides. I can hear water rushing down on this side and the other side. And I think we got across this little river now down here. You can hear the water. It's nice around here. There's a little path again. It's quite a good view now of the valley. Someone has left a very big stack of wood there. So I bet they carry this on their heads. It's at least 30, 40 kilos that. But it's not light. So we're back at the roadside now. So I'll just go down the road a bit until I can get back on that path to get down to that little bridge. And then we'll go across the river and we'll go up the other side and do a bit of exploring up there. So just before we get across that bridge, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And whilst you're at it, click on the like. And if you want to, you can always share it with your friends. So we're almost at that little wooden bridge to go across this river. There's the path this way. It's really tricky, lots of stones everywhere. A nice cool breeze, so it's not too hot. But this is quite fun. Wow, so we've come from up there, up that side, up that mountain behind me. And now we're going across on this wooden bridge. Wow, it's fast that water. Check out how fast that water is. I'll wait for these ladies to get past. Some ladies coming with some heavy loads. That's a nice view there. So it's all clear. Let's get across this little bridge. Wow, it's a rickety bridge. Check that out. Whee! Yeah, it's quite solid actually. pretty careful walking across i think if there's any places for swimming it'll be on these other side should be able to get down there quite easily but i'll go up here first across the river I've got to get up this little steep climb now and we'll see if there's a path on the other side stepping stones hey. Check that out. these people walking up and down carrying bananas and cassavas god that's hard work hard physical work so again no cars coming up this side it's a bit cool up here So I've come to a path going left and right. So I think I want to head this way, left side, just to avoid this mud. Are you okay? So I remember the point where to get back again. And we'll follow this path, see how far it goes. So I can hear chickens and people up ahead and I can see a few houses. So I'm guessing it's a little village.
So this is, go this is going deep into the forest. I mean, it's fantastic views and it's nice, cool climate. Anyway, let's go a little bit further. So we've made it to a stone pillar. It says this land was donated to the Renzori Development Foundation on behalf of the Raboni community, which is the local community. So it's nice and cool in here. So it's getting quite thick now with bush. So I've put a pair of trousers on. If it continues to stay quite thick, I might head back because there could be snakes or anything down here. And it's not been trodden on for a while. You never know in this weather, snakes are everywhere and there's some pretty poisonous snakes around here. Just have a little look, can't be too afraid. Oh, there's someone coming. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Come on. It's very thick. Oh, you've been collecting onions, spring onions. I guess it can't be that bad. If these kids are coming through, it's really thick. I think it's getting too thick for me. We're going away from the river and head back up this way. You need a big stick or a big machete. I've only got a small five inch knife, a fruit knife. I don't think it's really uh, helpful going through there. It's quarter to three now and I've been out since 9.30. So I've had a pretty good walk. I've arranged for the people back at the camp to cook me dinner tonight. Cook me some matoki, which is the mashed banana or the mashed plantain and some rice and some beef and some vegetables. So I'm looking forward to that. I can hear that river again. Hopefully when we get down here, I'll have a little swim somewhere if I can find a little, little spot. So there's not really many places around for pitching your tent in the wild because it's just so thick with bush. There's no flat spaces unless you go to the designated camping areas or maybe down closer by the river. That campsite where I am staying, that's pretty much the last pit stop before you get into the park down there. And then those guys said it's about 13 kilometers i think to the first stop for my campsite it's five dollars and they're gonna cook me dinner tonight which is about three dollars but it's a cheaper budget option staying outside check out those views nice one thing i am looking forward to when i get back is a tusker light if they have them maybe i'll have two So we're almost back down by the river again. Just got to look for that little turning off to the right. It'll take me down to the river and down to all the stepping stones. Corn, look at that. Big piece of corn there. Could take that home for my dinner. So the juice is almost finished in the battery and I've just finished my wash. I hope you enjoyed that because I did. As I said, I didn't pay to go inside the park and it's well worth it. Just come prepared, bring plenty of food, plenty of snacks and I'll be sitting here waiting for you. See you in the next one. See the moon up there.